Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I talk all about how to travel smarter, not harder, so please consider subscribing down below, give the video a thumbs up if you're excited, and stay tuned because today's video is all about this bad boy right here. This is the Able Carry Max. It is an epic minimal carry-on backpack and I'm gonna share all of its best features with you today. So this is the Able Carry Max, an epic 30 liter carry-on backpack and you have a lot of things to carry for work or the gym, etc. It is perfect for an everyday carry as well. So first off, I just wanna say that this backpack, even just the touch of it, is so sturdy and durable like i feel like this bag will just honestly last you a lifetime and they actually do have a lifetime guarantee which i'm pretty sure means that if something happens to it they'll repair it for you but let's talk about the backpack straps so this is where i like to start with most backpacks because no matter how many pockets and fun things it has if it's not comfortable to carry then you're not going to want to carry it. So the Able Carry Max has a really cushioned harness system. Like these straps are so thick, very cushioned. And it's got a nice little airflow channel with a uh, luggage pass through if that's your thing. And then we've just got a little minimal branding here. It says Able Carry. And then on the harness system as well, this is so awkward to show you, but it's got a really nice little magnetized uh, sternum strap. So that's great, nice and quick and easy to put on and click off as well and then just your classic adjustable webbed uh, straps down here to loosen or tighten the backpack straps. Switching back to the front, like I said, the materials feel super durable. This is called X-Pack, I believe. It's kind of supposed to stop it from like getting rips and tears and them getting bigger, etc. But it's just a really durable material and it like, the water just like beads off it. Like it's super, super water resistant. At the front we've got this nice little pocket here. This is it. It's quite hidden as well. So it's not too, um, you know, exposed. If you're going through a crowded area, I wouldn't be too worried about pickpocketing. I mean, obviously I wouldn't put my most valuable things in here, but you know, it's still quite hidden and it's a nice slim pocket, great for, you know, your classic notebook. There's a key leash in here as well. So if you want to put some keys on there, there is one kind of like meshy, stretchy pocket, which I'm not sure if you can see. Um, and yeah, just a great little pocket for some essentials that you need to grab quickly. So if we switch around to the right hand side of the bag, we've actually got this water bottle pocket, which is actually really large. It fits such a large like capacity water bottle. Uh, the only thing to be aware of is that it can eat into the inside of the bag in terms of spatial, you know, allocation, but it is large. So if you have a large water bowl, I wouldn't worry too much about it fitting. It's only if it's got like a, a loop or something that might not fit into this top part when it closes. But you could always just leave it a little bit open like that. It's just a water bottle at the end of the day. I thought I would mention as well, there's a bunch of different lash points on this bag up here as well. So if you have anything that you want to strap on, it's super easy to add that. So I flipped back to the other side of the backpack, the left hand side, and we do just have another more hidden quick access pocket here, which is great. Just, yeah, again, for more small things. There's not any other internal organization here. It is just quite a flat pocket. There is a couple of lash points on there as well. This one is quite fun because it's got a zip up or zip down. So whatever you prefer, you can zip it two zips at the top, or you can put the two zips at the bottom, or you can put them in the middle. And then before we jump into the inside of the bag, I thought I would just mention that there's two really sturdy grab handles, one on the top here, and then one on the side as well. So it makes it really easy to chuck it around. So if you're the kind of person that likes to pack in a massive kind of bucket, this is gonna be the bag for you. You just have to unzip it all the way around and it opens the clamshell. I've just got some towels and a jumper in here now. Basically, it's literally this huge bucket. It doesn't zip all the way down, but you can easily just kind of pop stuff in there, but it's massive. Uh, and then inside as well, for some organization, we do have one pocket on the side here. So again, great to just slip something in there, maybe even just an umbrella. Then on this opening part here, we've got a couple of mesh pockets. Again, just some nice little organizational features and some minimal branding that says Able Carry as well. And then a smaller pocket up here. These are great if you just have a few things like first aid stuff. I would like to always put in these like small pockets because I don't take that much um, these days, but you know, a few band-aids and some meds 
is all you need. So yeah, that's the main compartment. And then we've also got heaps of uh, lash points as well in here. This bag has a ton of different lash, lash points. So super easy to strap in something across there. And you can use some like pouches or packing cubes or whatever you like to organize this main compartment or just leave it loose. Forgot to mention as well, there's one more little piece of branding there. Um, there's quite a few small pieces of branding on this bag, but it is very minimal and it kind of blends in with the rest of the bag. So it's not like it's screaming out for attention. And the last big feature of this backpack is the laptop compartment. And this one I really like because it opens up a lot wider than a lot of other uh, laptop compartments. So just zip it all the way around. It's about like a three quarter opening. So on one side it opens all the way and then the other side it just opens to about there. So basically you've got your classic laptop sleeve which is this back part and then we've got another sleeve here which can be for a small notebook or something like that. Then you've also got a little spot to put a pen or a stylus and then on this side this is probably one of my favorite features I love bags that have this, that have a small pocket at the top of the laptop pocket because it means you can pop your charger in where your laptop is. So let's say you're sitting down like while you're waiting for the plane, it is so handy to just be able to grab your laptop out and your charger out without having to like rummage in your bag or find your tech pouch, etc. And this added pocket is great because it's got a few little uh, kind of like pouch slots in here. So if you have any SD cards or just small cables, things that you don't want loose, then you can pop that in there and then everything else just can go in the main bit there. With this bag as well, the back is honestly like seriously sturdy. Like you have to press quite hard to be able to bend the frame sheet at the back, which means that it's gonna be super supportive alongside the cushioned harness system. Now I've got the very last pocket, which I almost forgot about, but it's this tiny little quick access here that is hidden on your back. So this is the perfect pocket to put cash or to put your passport if you're kind of in transit and it's super easy to grab in and out let's say you're in the line for customs but you just don't want your uh, passport kind of in a place that's really easy to access just zips up you can even tuck the zip underneath just like that but yeah it's very hidden so that was the able carry max it is a super capable durable comfortable minimal travel backpack or large everyday carry that I would definitely recommend you to try out. It's a cool little company based in Hong Kong. So you've made it to the end of the video and you want to know how you can win yourself one of these epic carry-on backpacks. So the giveaway is based over on TikTok. I will leave a link to the video down below, but all you have to do is go and comment on that video and then make sure you're following both myself, Minimal Traveler, and Able Carry Co. on TikTok and then you go in the drawer to win yourself one of these backpacks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful, helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you here as part of my channel. And as always, travel smarter, not harder, and I'll see you guys next time.